Pardon me, Professor. There's a matter that I need to discuss with you. No? Well, I heard your lecture and... Well, if what you say is true, then I'm starting to come to the conclusion that existence is really just too rotten. After all, you are the world's leading pessimist thinker. As I said in my lecture, the only real thinkers are pessimist thinkers. That's the only viable philosophy. In a world like this, what else could there be but pessimism? And when people realize this, when ordinary people, vulgar people, come to see this, they go what they call mad. And many of them kill themselves if they're thoughtful enough, which is what they should do when they first start thinking. They should put themselves out of their misery. The whole world should be put out of its misery, if you ask me. But people want to live. Well, yes, people want to live. A dog with rabies wants to live. But if we were kind, we would kill it. And that is what a kind God would do to us. He would kill us. He would strike us dead. Why doesn't he strike us dead? <laughs> because God himself is dead. And once people realize this and give up their foolish illusions, they will recognize the value of pessimism. And people see that the so-called pleasures of life are mere trivialities. The solution is extinction. Don't worry, Professor. I'm going to put the puppy out of his pain. Smith, what are you doing? Smith, what are you doing? I'm going to kill you, Professor. It's not something I'd do for just anyone, only for a true friend. I'm going to put you out of your misery. Put that thing away! Put it away at this instant! How dare you do this! I am the Professor! Put that thing away! It'll all be over very soon, you know. Oh, stop! Stop this! Oh, stop. Help me! Someone, please, help me! Oh, the puppy! The poor puppy! Puppy! Help! Help! Oh, stop this! Stop! Help! Help! Oh, stop this! How stop fortunate this. it is that I am so much wiser and kinder than he is! Stop it! Stop it! I can't stand it! What, the gun? That's just the cure. It's the world that you can't stand. It's living you despise. Please, Smith, for God's sake, don't kill me! Professor. Please, Smith, please. Professor? Yes? Am I to understand that you want to live? Yeah, yes. Well, that's quite a choice, isn't it? <laughs> to live or to be shot through the head? By the way, it's a no-brainer. <laughs> Please! I want to live! And will you thank heaven? Will you thank God for churches and chapels? And for puddles of mud? And for... <laughs> Pots and pans and rags and sticks and stones and bees and bones. Will you thank God for people even when they're vulgar? Yes, for, for sticks and rags and bees and bones. And for puddles and pots and pans. Yes, thank heaven for puddles and pots and pans. And for vulgar people. Oh, thank God for vulgar people. Thank God indeed. Please, I want to live. I'd give anything. Anything. Anything at all. <laughs> well, then blast your impudence. Give us a song. What? Sing, Professor. Sing a song. Um. <laughs> what song? I'll let you live if... You will repeat after me. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Well, clap your hands, man. If you're happy and you, and you know it, it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show I it. I don't see your face surely showing it. 
If you're happy <laughs> and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> Congratulations, Professor. You are now engaged in public worship. <laughs> back from the brink of death. Don't you understand? I, I had to prove you were wrong. Or go drown myself in the river. I couldn't go on in the world that you describe. But when I pointed my gun at you, And you saw that the world was a beautiful, wonderful place and you wanted to live. When you saw that, I saw it too. <laughs> We've both been to the brink of death, you and I together. with honors. <laughs> Too bad I'll be expelled, but say la vie. <laughs> I, uh, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> no. Keep this. What for? For the next man who talks to you the way I did. And you will not be expelled. I'll see to that. I'm going to tell everyone the truth. No. I must be expelled. And people must not know the truth. Why not? Because I'm going to take your advice, Professor. I'm going to use this on the next person that I meet who's in the same awful state that you and I were in. I want to... I want to travel through the world like some wonderful, unexpected surprise. And I'm going to bring my two gifts. Your two gifts? Death. And life after death. I'm going to hold a gun to the head of modern man. Only I won't kill him. Just bring him to life. Come on, let's go get some lunch. <laughs> 